my first board. This is my, uh, this is my moose knuckle by Thomas Bexon, Thomas Surfboards from Australia. I got this board when I went to Noosa about a year ago now. From Noosa, from riding this thing on the points at Tea Tree and stuff, took it to New Zealand. Yeah, surfed some pretty amazing waves. On the South Island, pretty stoked. Afterwards, what happened? Yeah. After, went to the East Coast, and um, yeah, there's this little contest in Virginia Beach. It's pumping! A few hours before my heat, I think I lost it, and it went straight into the jetty. Snapped her right in half. Still pretty bummed on that, but it happens. Before I was riding Thomas's, I was kind of more on a completely different style of board. I was riding a bunch of like super wide tail, super thick, kind of nose ridey style boards. And then I kind of just decided to jump to the complete opposite of that. <laughs> more thinned out, more pulled in tail. Yeah, I just think that allows for more maneuverability and through your turns kind of smooths out your turns, and um, yeah, still nose ride's amazing. I mean, still like the sickest nose rider. <laughs> My second board is a little 5'4 Thomas Fish. Got a little wing in it. Really fun board, kind of can ride it in any condition you want, you know. If works in small little waves at home, and also like good size little tubes sometimes. <laughs> Brought it to the East Coast with me, I met up with the Florida man, Saxon Wilson. Was be waffles, bro. Was be waffles. Yeah, we drove from from his house in Florida to Montauk. We kind of surfed our way up the coast, got a few waves behind this hurricane, and yeah, it was a really good time. Yeah, hopefully, just get to ride this thing a lot during the winter at home. I've uh, I've messed around with a lot of different fishes from other shapers and stuff, but this one is like. It's pretty special, it feels really good. I haven't messed around with a lot of fishes with wings and stuff, but this one works really good backside, especially engaging through turns and stuff. I feel like you have a little more control off this little bit. And this is my plus one Gibson Les Paul Standard. Got this thing when I was nine years old. Yeah, saved up all my money and my dad helped me get it for Christmas and yeah, I've had it ever since. Play it every day. Right now I've been liking a lot of um, Mazzy Star, Blind Melon, John Fay, he does a lot of like acoustic guitar. A lot of um, connections between playing music and uh, surfing, you know, you can kinda express yourself the way you want to. Cool thing to go back and forth, playing the guitar and surfing. It's, it's a good balance for sure.